For years, sampling has been the heart and lifeblood of music, from pop music to R&B to hip hop. Many songs have been made with the help of sampling. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down two beats that I made with samples. And if you stick around, I'm gonna drop a couple gems as well as sites to make not only sampling easier, I'll also show you how to take vocals as well as drums out of a sample with one click. So for the first beat, I actually made, but I don't think you wanna hear me go through snares and samples and all that for like 20 minutes. I'm over exaggerating, but yeah, this is what the beat sounds like. <laughs> now that sounds pretty decent but let me show you guys how i made this because originally the sample had vocals so i heard this from isaac hayes one woman Her loving arms are there. I heard that and instantly knew like I gotta strip away the vocals because that right there is like simple enough to loop, but you could do something crazy with that. I actually use Isotope RX9 to strip away the vocals from the beat, but there's an easier way to do it with Serato Sample. So if you throw the sample in Serato Sample, if you updated it, you get these features, which basically strips away certain parts of the beat. So if I don't want no vocals on it, and I just want the keyboard as well as guitar and the drums, that's what it'll sound like. But if I don't want the drums, or if I just want the bass guitar, it just strips it. And it also gives it like a little bit of texture as well. But in this case, I used RX9 and then I got this sample. It was pretty simple after that. All I did was just pitch it and then throw some effects like reverb and EQ and a filter. And that was it. And this is what it sounds like. As for the drums. Drums, hella simple. But one thing I know that I could have did was I could have went like super crazy with the drums. One thing I've been doing lately is like kind of treating it like a fake NPC. So like I'll make beats in like a slower BPM and I'll just like try to find like more interesting patterns. Even though this is not like a crazy unique pattern or whatever. But if you notice like all of these patterns could be playable. So that's, that's basically what I mean. I just try to look at it from like a playable perspective. I'm just breaking it down one by one. So I start with the kick. Accent snare, hi hats, two open hats, this boy won the hi hat, he always got the best hi hats, he always got the best sounds, and then this boy won the 808. Then I added this little drum break right here. That's actually from Spice. It's from the Brooklyn Breaks pack. Boy, one of the drums too are from Spice. And all together, that's what it sounds like. Now that we're done with that, next beat.
reminds me of some like 80s type of shit, you know, uh, real R&B, real uh, shiny hair with the with the oil dripping down and shit. So let me break down this beat. So the sample is Dion. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but yeah, shout out to him or her. Um, Diani, yeah, Diani Walter Beasley. Okay, that's what's up. So <laughs> I heard this. It was going crazy with like saxophones and shit like that. So I heard that and then I just found a little interesting chop. These were the chops right here. Super fire. I kind of had to turn around over here. Shit like that, right? Real Kenny G. Real type of uh, feeling there. Only effects I added really was just like EQ, just to clean it up. But I used Infiltrator 2 from Devious Machines, which is now on Splice's Rent to Own. So I added that. And I added a little bit of chorus on there as well. Now, when it comes to the chops, I'm not going to lie to you. These chops are not that crazy. When it comes to chopping, like, it's just I try to find little moments. When it comes to chopping, too, you could also, like, use little instruments that they use in the sample as, like, one shots. So, like, if you hear this... That's a saxophone from the actual sample. I just used the built-in filter and then I used a little bit of delay bank and that's it. Just to give it that little texture. I didn't add nothing else, honestly. Now we can talk about the drums. When it comes to the drums, you know me, I'm a simple bean. All of these are just my drums from the Blueprint Volume 3 drum kit. The thing that made it right is uh, the 808. I actually played that out. I'm not I'm not capping. And then open hat, but this kick, love it. One of my favorites out of my pack. As far as the mixing, I didn't do much. Just good leveling, good sound selection. So as promised, I already showed you guys how to use Serato Sample and to get the drums as well as the bass line and the vocals out of a sample with one click. Now I'm gonna show you guys two sample resources that I think are super clutch. Now the first resource is called samplelet.io. I think this is super dope because even if you just found it like me, you can find a lot of samples just by clicking shuffle. Like listen to this sample. So if we don't like that sample, you could just click random. I might have to say that one. There's different filters as well as like you could tap the tempo and find a sample within that tempo. It'll go in places where you wouldn't even think to type that type of thing. So I highly recommend samplelet.io. The next one is called radio with one, two, three, four, five O's. Basically you get a whole world map and wherever you click, you'll get a sample. And if you click a different time period, you'll get a sample from that time period. So I just went on the site and I found this one. What would the 1940s look like? Let's see what's in Canada in the 1970s. Uh, I love that. It's really endless possibilities. Like you could just like find random stuff on here. I highly recommend you use these sites, samplelet and radio with five O's.com. Now, before I end this video, I have to leave you with one thing that's super important. And that is sampling is an art that regardless of how people feel about it, create what you like to make. So regardless of people saying, oh, you're just stealing other people's music and throwing drums on it. That's a total lie. You know, you're creative, you're amazing at what you do. And honestly, it doesn't matter how complex you get with the chops or how simple you get with the chops. Sampling is an art. It's never going to die. And I hope you guys find your voice within sample. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys like this video and I will catch you guys next time.